Hi there everybody What I'll be showing you in this video is uh, the Carinado YMF5 Now I don't talk about this uh, airplane as much as I want to But every time I come and fly it the plane just looks incredible The detail is uh, fantastic in every way And the only reason why I don't fly this as much as I want to It's because of a tail dragger So I always have problems like not the problem of landing, it's more more like uh, steering in the ground That uh, becomes difficult sometimes, but uh, I do love this aircraft I mean the quality The quality of this from Carinado is just uh, I don't think I've seen a more detailed aircraft in the sim yet As detailed as this So for that reason I decided to make this video, just to give this uh, plane some credit because it's just uh, done incredibly well let me just turn all this off I just wanted to make this uh, short video about this uh, beautiful aircraft but look at this detail just look at this I mean everything about it uh, the bars, the wires, uh, the paint job, the cockpit when, wherever you see, you're gonna see quality. Just look at this. I mean, what's not to like about this aircraft? I know it's vintage, it's not the easiest to land. It's slow, but uh, you expect uh, that stuff from these aircraft. It's not gonna be an F-15 or an F-16, that's for sure. So you know exactly what uh, you're gonna expect. You know it's an old plane, it's gonna fly slow, but man, she's beautiful and she's top quality. Before you couldn't see the pilot on Series X, but now you can after the updates. Let me just uh, start her up. Just hear that uh, beautiful engine. This could have made it into my top 5 It could have made it if I removed one of the aircraft Because this sounds incredible as well Just hear that How beautiful is that? Stunning Let me just uh Turn her off quickly I can't remember if this one had a tablet or something I think it had something last time I flew it but uh, I cannot see any buttons in here maybe I'm missing it out maybe I'm missing something out but uh, I don't think the smoke uh, works at the moment I can try it in a quick like a quick takeoff just to try it but uh, let me just uh, turn it on again Yeah, beautiful Honey so Yeah, let me just uh, take her off quickly I'm not gonna land her, but I'm just gonna quickly just uh, show you that smoke works or not Just to try it Not sure if it works yet. I'll try it anyway. Let's uh, try it again. I don't think I see anything, but unless I'm missing something, I cannot see anything when it comes to the smoke. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, the aircraft is uh, stunning in every way, just look at uh, every detail here. That's so great about the this, uh, plane. You 
can see, very slow. But it is what it is. Sometimes you need planes like this to look at the scenery and stuff. I mean, the details to just to build this thing in real life would have been like really something just to achieve it just to complete every plane like this I can try to land it but because of a tail dragger probably I'm gonna go straight in the beginning but I'm gonna probably gonna turn I had the same problem with uh, Spitfire that I flew yesterday Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't mean that uh, they're bad. The only plane that I didn't have uh, much problem was uh, the plane that we got uh, last week from Arenado. That was okay actually, even though it's a uh, tail dragger. I didn't have no problems whatsoever with that beautiful aircraft. I love the Arenado stuff. I do. I mean, uh, how many planes we got so far from Coronado? Here. Loads. Any other developers done that? No. We gotta give him credit for his due. It's not easy to create a beautiful aircraft like this. And we've seen that in the past in the sim, what we got for that price. So, we gotta uh, do something right, we gotta say. That's right. That's the problem I have with the tail draggers because they, they try to steer left and right. So it's gonna be a problem you trying to control it, just like I'm doing now. And the plane is gonna try to turn on its side. You see that? The plane is just uh, rotating on its own. And it's gonna try to fall in the, on the left. So you're gonna balance it. It's not gonna damage plane because it's not exactly touching the ground but uh, yeah it's not bad you get used to it you get used to it the more you fly the more you get used to it but that uh, can be a problem sometimes but yeah it's just a fantastic aircraft that's all I wanted to say in this video just uh, give it a praise because uh, I don't fly it as much as I want to uh, believe me, I want to fly it. Uh, that's the tablet there. I found it. Found the tablet. There it is. So let me just. Uh, I knew it was somewhere because I remember this. Static elements. Let's uh, turn it on. Let's see if we can turn it off. And turn that on. Pilot, we can turn that on and off as well. Let me just. Turn that off. Continue. I think that's going to work. There's something here that's stopping it. Okay, let me do that. Let me just try something. Check your pump. Checked, mixture. I guess are pretty cool. Yep, now we've done it. External power. Go by the door, I'm gonna need it for now. Let me just check quickly out on the outside. Oh yes, you can see that. There it is. External power. Well, in the grass, so we cannot see much, but uh, yep, you can see because you got uh, all this stuff here. Can you see that? You got the red, red stuff here. I moved before flight, so well, that's there, and you got uh, the cone there, and you got everything else. So, yeah, so the tablet works, that's perfect. I knew it had a tablet, I was just missing it. I definitely knew it was there. So 
So yeah. So great. So let me know what you think of this aircraft. I don't know if you already have it or just a comment below if you have it or you're planning to get it. But it's fantastic. The quality of this it's uh yeah. I think it's one of the best I've seen in the sim on Xbox so far. It's great. So yeah, see you later.